Hello guys, this is um, AIP Vols and Pokes, and I'm making another football prediction video. I made my first football prediction video about Tennessee's 2023 20, football schedule, which I, I'm a Tennessee fan, of course. And now I'm making a football prediction video for my second favorite team, Oklahoma State. So first, I want to start with all of the teams of who Oklahoma State is going to play against. And as you can see, we have a, a few new teams that are joining the Big 12 this year, so that's why there's Cincinnati, Houston, BYU, UCF. So, um, yeah, so we have four new teams joining in. And uh, so this year we actually do not have Texas or Baylor because of those four new teams joining in. So... Uh, so basically, with Central Arkansas Bears, we will um, play against them at home. And then on the road game against Arizona State. Then, and then at home, and then at home against South Alabama Jaguars. Then the, uh, I, then on the road against Iowa State. Then a bye week on Saturday, September 30th. And after that, we have a home game against Kansas State Wildcats. And then home game against Kansas Jayhawks. Then on the road against West Virginia Mountaineers. Cincinnati Bearcats. Then at home against the Oklahoma Sooners. Then um, at home against UCF. Then at home against Houston. And then finally at home against BYU. So, first of all, um, so basically for Central Arkansas Bears, I would say Oklahoma State will get that win. Then same thing for Arizona State Sun Devils. I would say that's a win. South Alabama Bama Jaguars, I would say that's a win. At Iowa State Cyclones, uh let's see. Um now Iowa State may improve a lot this year, so I would say that's probably a, a loss because I would Iowa State may improve a whole lot better. So I would say that's three and one. Kansas State, I would say a win. So I because I think going to, I'm going to say will improve a whole lot better. I know last year was a very disappointing season for Oklahoma State. I know we lost to West Virginia, Virginia and Kansas last year, but I think this year's going to be a whole lot different for Oklahoma State. A lot of people are saying that Oklahoma State's going to be trash and all that stuff. I don't believe those people because I think Mike Gundy will get the football team very straight, get things straight. So with Kansas State, I would say that's a win. So that that's basically four and one. Kansas, I would say that's five and one. Um, West Virginia on the road, I would say that's seven and one. And Cincinnati at home, I would say that's eight and one. Wait, hold on. So, sorry, guys. I'm 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 basically missing track with the record. So. Okay, so for the th first three opponents, Central Arkansas, Arizona State, and South Alabama, that's that'll be three and zero. Iowa State uh, on the road, that that'll be a loss, so that's three and one. Kansas State at home, that's four and one. Kansas is five and one. That'll be a win on, against both Kansas schools. And at West Virginia on the road, that's six and one. Then home against Cincinnati, that's seven and one. At home against Oklahoma. Now, normally I would predict this as a loss, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a win because since it's the last Bedlam game of the year, because we all know Oklahoma, Texas are moving to the SEC next year, so I would say. So I would say that's a nine and one. Um. I would say that's an 8-1, 9-1. So, yeah, that, I would say that's an 8-1, a win over Oklahoma. 9-1 on the 
on the road against UCF. And then a 10 and a win against Houston, that'll be 10 1. And then a win against BYU, that'll be 11 1. So basically, I got Oklahoma State going 11 1 this year. I think Oklahoma State will improve a whole lot better. Um, I know I could be wrong near in the future. And of course, I got Oklahoma and other teams being Oklahoma State this year, but. Which I hope it doesn't happen. I hope I actually prefer Oklahoma State going undefeated, which I want them to. But I basically got Oklahoma State going eleven and one. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for Oklahoma State. Um, don't forget to comment down below and like and subscribe. And uh, go Pokes.